I can't believe that it's 2023 and I am holding an intervention in my hand. Holy shit. I mean, we all knew it was going to happen at some point, right? They brought back Modern Warfare 2, so they had to bring back the one sniper that is literally Modern Warfare 2. Oh, I just can't stop staring at it. Now, I just want to apologize for being an absolute dumbass in yesterday's video. I read through the patch notes yesterday extremely fast and didn't realize that the explosive ammo that makes snipers now one-shot headshot in the game only worked on bolt action action snipers and i decided to use the signal 50 now lucky for us which if they didn't do it this way it would have been one of the biggest bags fumbled in call of duty history the intervention is a bolt action sniper which means it's gonna be a one-shot headshot so today we have nothing to worry about Thank God. Still no Battle Royale solos on Almazra. So massive resurgence trios it is. Hopefully resurgence treats us better today, but I'm not counting on it. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did decide to bless you all with a no hat video today. I figured I would give you guys a little bit of a change of scenery, you know? And hopefully, and I mean hopefully, letting my hair breathe a little bit will slow down the balding process that I'm currently experiencing. Because my hairline could literally take all the help it can get. All right, we should... Holy crap, my team just got mopped. We do have enough money to buy our gun from the buy station, so... Okay, uh, not as safe as I thought it was gonna be. There's an entire team sitting in this building, which is very unfortunate. Very resurgence, though, you know what I'm saying? This is a, a very resurgence moment. This is exactly why I don't play this dog shit. Okay, well, that didn't work. So I'm going to go to this buy station instead. My teammates are still here, so I'm just I'm just going to send it. Wait, did these guys leave this place? Oh, shit. This might actually work out. Oh, yes, it worked out. It worked out. Can we just take a moment and just look at it? So many memories. Even the way that it like, even... Wait, hold up. No, okay, man. Oh my god, get me out of there. Even the way that it like keeps going into sprint. Oh my god. It's like 2009 all over again. I'm sorry. I thought this was supposed to be a one-shot headshot. I would like a refund, please, on both of those snipes. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that the Call of Duty community after the Season 3 update is legitimately burning to the ground. Streamers are getting death threats. The developers are getting death threats. And I don't care the situation. That shit is just not okay. Like, we're sending death threats to people over the fact that you can't move faster in a video game. We all miss Warzone 1, but I'm telling you, that shit is just not the way. I think a big part of the problem... Motherfuck! I think a big part of the problem is that the Call of Duty community just wants to feel heard. And these streamers and content creators are going on these calls with the developers. And then they're sharing the information that they hear with the community. But instead, I think people want to hear from the developers themselves. They just want, like, clear communication from the development company on, like, why things are the way they are. And if change is coming, what the plan is. But people are also putting a little bit too much faith in Call of Duty and failing to realize that this is the way they they've been for 15 years they make the most money out of the game absolutely milk it dry for content and cash and then their business model is literally designed to kill the game that they created and release the new one next year i don't know how we didn't see it coming with warzone 2 and i don't know how we're surprised that we're not getting it back a lot of you guys are literally expecting call of duty and activision to just one day change everything they've done for the past nearly two decades and treat warzone and call of duty the way that epic games treats fortnite that shit's just not gonna happen oh come on baby give it to me give it to me give it to me Okay, remember I told you guys that uh, you were going to see some better sniper gameplay out of me in the next video? Uh, It's only my second game on, all right? We're warming up. We're warming up. And that's another issue that I had. They made the flinch resistance so unbearable in this game. This game was built on quick scoping and trick shotting. The foundations of our game is not enjoying flinch resistance okay but truthfully i could care less i'm i'm just so happy that i once again get to use one of my favorite weapons in call of duty history the most iconic weapon in call of duty history and sometimes we just gotta take our w's in life what the 
What? You're just sitting in here? Please bring back solos. Please bring back solos. Please bring back solos. Please. Nah, I'm killing all of you guys. I'm killing all you guys. You're ruining my YouTube video. You're camping in, in the fucking rooftops. I'm killing all you. Every single last one of you guys. You're done. Where's my intervention? Yeah, all you guys. Get out! Is it down here? MX9, M4. No, no. Where is it? I hate everybody. All right, well, third time's a charm, man. Get away from me. Just get away from me. There's a whole team on me. This is this is literally an entire team on me. Not good. Not good. Not good. You think you're getting up, man? Oh! It feels so good. I feel like a kid again. Another one! This is hands down the best part of season three. Everything else they said about a movement update and Warzone is saved and all that other shit. Yeah, a lot of that was clearly untrue, but doesn't matter because the intervention is here. Whoa. No way. Wait, am I tripping or am I just actually garbage? Sit down, bro. I literally pressed the trigger at the same time. We should have at least traded. But I hope you guys are enjoying the season three update. I think they added a lot of really cool things and a lot of really awesome new content. But I think there was a little bit of a miscommunication with these movement buffs that were coming to the game because I'm not gonna lie, in Warzone, it feels like nothing's changed. And I mean, look at the way that Call of Duty buffs and nerfs weapons in the game. It usually takes like four nerfs for a gun to be like not absolutely broken. I didn't really expect them to do anything drastic. I just hate seeing the community all in shambles man now me personally i would like to see the movement increase a little bit so the game doesn't feel so clunky but i think the biggest thing without question for me is the ttk the ttk is absolutely disrespectful in this game like when i get shot at and don't even have the time to react literally my brain i'm not lying for at least a couple seconds still thinks i'm alive but i'm looking at my dead body on the floor like that is disrespectful as fuck also side note this right here is why i hate resurgence more than anything in the entire world you got a whole team of three sitting on top of each other playing it like it's a in real life war simulator like there's a hundred thousand dollars on the line you know what i'm just i'm just i'm just not gonna watch this shit i literally refuse real quick i just want to say thank you guys and i'm so glad that a lot of you are enjoying the daily content we've been working so hard on the channel and to see all the positivity in the content section and to see that each video that we upload is consistently doing numbers thank you i literally love you guys so much but i'm gonna go grind this sniper a little more because after four months of abandoning snipers holy shit your boy is rusty we got a money and we'll get our load out and then we're gonna make a good youtube video because we're gonna expose the meta with the lockman and the p90 and i hope no one's camping this by station